That should draw the attention of the guards. I should hide. Okay, guys. Um, I don't know if what recorded or not. Um, it's kind of crappy. Yeah, you can hear you're right there. Um, I got this machine working. Um, ah, oh, man, it sucks. Um, did so much, and I don't think I can go back and show you. Sort of the disadvantage of this kind of game. Um, anyway, I got that guy. Well, hmm. So much to cover real quickly. Uh, I got this guy some sleeping pills from the pharmacy, which was back in that corner over there. And I got some keys from right here to get into this room to turn on the ammeter. Anyways, the sleeping pills attracted the guard that was around this corner so I could get into this room uh, to turn on the last ammeter for this machine. And then I came back to the machine, turned it on, and then now that's where we are. Anyways, I also could turn on this device, but not gonna. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess none of that recorded, which is kind of crappy. Um, I only noticed when I was in here. Uh, with this guy. Anyways, you saw most of the level before. It's just that, yeah, there's that one room that's all crazy creepy. Doctor, no, is just that me. you? Don't you worry about the doctor. Right now, he'll um, I also don't know if I can with his speak machine. for much longer. I might give us part of this just as away. a silent playthrough. I'll undo you. Get away? Get away where? I can't go anywhere. It'll find me, like it found me here. You're mistaken about the beast. Don't stay with me, or you'll end up the same way. You're Sanders, aren't you? I heard you from my cell. What did they do to you? What does Fuller want with you? The doctor? You think it's the doctor who scares me? The doctor wants to heal me. But he's the one who's crazy. He wants to restore my sight. He wants to give me back my eyes. And yet I told him that I didn't want him. I do not want to see it anymore. And the real culprit is Sarah. Her and her accursed paintings. You're kidding me. You're talking about Sarah Hawkins. <laughs> The one and only. The legendary. There is no artist more enlightened or cursed than Sarah Hawkins. In her office, I saw signs of a ritual, perhaps an invocation. These things, that's what makes you say she's cursed. You're wrong. It was not an invocation, but a revocation. <laughs> But she failed. And that's what counts. What's going on on this island? I'm... I'm so sorry. We should never have met. What are you talking about? Destiny! It has trapped you! No, don't let it see you, or you won't be able to escape it. Don't look at it! That's how it finds you! What finds me? The Sarah Hawkins visitor! The Shambler! Sanders, pull yourself together. Without her, it's no longer possible to save me. Hi, Pierce. Hi. I can't move my mouse. Sanders. Whoa. What the hell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta... You gotta get out of here, yeah. Look behind you, Pierce! Sounds terrifying. This is insane. What killed him? Don't know. Hopefully my distraction is still... Oh, crap. Go ah! there! Well then. So I couldn't quite back up the right way there. <laughs> uh, 
Um, yeah, so anyway, I did want to show you that room back there, but I can't now because there's a guard there on that wall. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. Anyways, it was mostly just a bunch of gore, this to be honest. Is insane. What killed him? I don't know, man. Oh God. Jesus. Oh. Okay, get out of here. Damn. The gas. Oh. My head. Huh. Later. We need to move on. Okay, guys, it looks like we escaped. It took a lot more than six minutes. Um, I mean, for me, it was mostly just like sneaking around and stuff. Um, I'm really, it's really unfortunate that it didn't uh, record. Or maybe it did and maybe you're watching it, but uh, I don't think it did at this point. Anyway, let's um, forget this. So let's just jump into this next little bit. Um, yeah. That looks nice. Oh gosh. Giant cephalopod. Hi. Hello. <gasps> Who goes there? <laughs> that nightmare again. I need a drink. You brought me back here? We're hanging out in this creepy freaking place? Oh my god. Did I grab the crowbar? I just want to make sure I grabbed the freaking crowbar that one time. Yeah, I guess I did. Um, J. Sanders. Page 47. Knew Sarah Hawkins so well that he accused her of being a source of his suffering. The man gouged his own eyes out and smeared the cell walls with hysteric symbols. He seems to be obsessed with the Shambler linked to Sarah. Okay. Um... Yeah, I think the next few minutes I'll probably do no voiceover just because people are awake, but I want to see just a little bit more. It's nice and peaceful. So it's, it's just going to be them talking. How do you feel? Did I sleep long? The day is only starting. It's fine. Okay. Talk to you more? No. Nope. Bradley. This will be interesting. How's our fugitive? Dr. Fuller hasn't reported your disappearance to the force, but that'll come soon. Bradley? Who else would it be? Mr. Pierce, are you all right? You look like you saw a ghost. <laughs> I... There are things I can't explain. Tell us. What happened? Some of these are locked still. These you two know each other pretty well. It's a tiny island. Everyone knows everyone. Especially since I'm a police officer and Marie's a doctor. The chemistry is obvious. I do seem a little bit stupid, don't I? <laughs> anyway. Let's get back to the business at hand. What I'm sure of now is that the Hawkins case isn't just an accident. And what brings you to that conclusion? The fact that Charles Hawkins survived the fire. I don't understand. Mr. Hawkins was buried. That's what he would have you believe. I have a hard time believing you. You were there, Bradley. You even opened fire on him. I remember that. Why would he fake his own yeah. death? Do you think he covered up his wife's murder? That's possible. It seems hard to swallow. Don't you have anything more concrete, Pierce? Mm. 
Don't really want to accuse him of something, but... Bradley, what do you remember? I don't understand your question. The night we went into the Hawkins mansion. You don't seem to remember the tunnels and what occurred there. Uh, no memory of going down any tunnel. No, we were in the manor, then... Uh... Then what? I, uh... The rest is quite blurry. I don't recall how I came back home. And then? I went to visit you at the hospital. And called on Marie's help to get you released. And you don't remember the events of the tunnel? I mean, you I don't. Even there. Let's talk about something else. Okay. Can't do that one. I, I met a Francis Sanders. Do you know him? Of course. He's a patient. Or was. I haven't seen him since Dr. Fuller had him transferred to the basement. He knew Sarah Hawkins. And that's what killed him. What? How did he die? I'm not sure I can explain it. Tell me how Mr. Sanders died. <laughs> I didn't see what. But something was there with us. Of what do you speak? Sanders said it was Sarah Hawkins' visitor. He spoke of it like a living being. Sarah Hawkins? Have I missed something here? This makes no sense. I don't see how it can help crack the Hawkins case. You really think she's involved? How could she have murdered Mr. Sanders? Francis Sanders mentioned Mrs. Hawkins just before dying. It's no coincidence. You know, Francis Sanders was a well-known art collector. I guess you can still pay a visit to his wife, Irene Sanders. An art collector, you say? That's probably how they met. If you plan on having dinner at the Sanders household, please spare the widow the tale of her late husband's suffering. I don't agree. She deserves the truth. But that truth may be biased. We don't know the bottom of it. He's right. We can't ignore the truth. But it could drive her mad. Better madness than ignorance. Very well. I'll go to see Francis's widow. Perhaps I'll find a link between her husband's death and Sarah Hawkins. Don't end up in the hospital this time. <laughs> I'll do my best. The other night's events are still confused in my head. Let us go now and learn the truth about what's happening on this island. What can I do for you, sir? Mrs. Sanders, I'm a private detective. We must talk about your husband and his ties to Sarah Hawkins. Can I come in? You may. However, before we go any further, please know that my husband died yesterday. That is precisely what brings me here. Well, well. Look who's here.
You know each other. Our paths crossed, briefly. The brave detective has a talent for sticking his nose into my business. I bump into her every time I'm investigating someone's death. It's a small island, detective. My island. It's better that it's you bumping into me. You're investigating Francis' death. Why? Who hired you? I spoke to Francis before he died. His story suggests a link to a case I'm working on. Well, since this business has got nothing to do with me, I'll be in your husband's office, Irene. We'll carry on later. Very well, Miss Baker. This way, Mr. Pierce. And do make yourself comfortable. It would seem that you have much to tell me. May I inquire as to when you had the opportunity to talk to my husband? Yesterday. I met him at the hospital. He spoke to me about Sarah Hawkins. Oh, of course he spoke to you about her. That's all he talked about. Sarah Hawkins and her paintings. Please forgive my tone. The fact is that I have not been allowed to see him since he was interned. You, on the other hand, a perfect stranger, were able to see him and even talk with him the day he died. How was he? Were you present when he had this attack? What happened? Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, and if you want to see more content by me, hit the subscribe button. If you want to support the channel even more, you can head on over to Patreon, and I will see you in another episode. Bye-bye.